and welcome to No Recipe Required. Hope you're doing well. Tonight, I'm gonna do a soup for you. I love cooking soups at home. They can be, uh, you know, they can be seasonal, they freeze really well, and obviously they can be super tasty. Tonight, I'm gonna do a, uh, an asparagus and potato soup for you. I've made asparagus soups before. Um, this one isn't really much different, but we do add some potatoes to it. Um, it's one way to get a little bit more body to the soup, uh, is add, tomato, add potatoes. It's a pretty common technique, one you can apply to all kinds of other soups as well. It kind of gives that, uh, like I said, the, the body without doing um, you know, cream or, or butter, maybe some of those other fatty things. Um, so you get all the richness and all the great flavor without, uh, without the calories, without the fat. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so for our asparagus, potato and asparagus soup, I'm gonna start off with um, two strips of bacon that I just coarsely chopped and threw into a, uh, my soup pot here to saute off. And then I'm going to add a um, chopped onion and three or four cloves of garlic. And I'm just going to let the onions cook down, soften up, and sweat, sweat off. You know, let them become translucent before I add um, some chicken stock and the potatoes. Um, you don't have to spend a lot of time dicing very finely or, or um, nicely because we're going to blend the soup at the end of the day. Okay, so let's keep going with our potato asparagus soup. I just um, softened up the onions, got them nice and um, sweated out, released their flavors. And then I'm going to add two potatoes. I'm using russet potatoes that I've diced up. And I'm going to add these before the asparagus so that they can um, cook and soften up. They're obviously going to cook at a different speed than the, um, than the asparagus. And so we've got to go ahead and let these go for probably you know, 20 to 30 minutes on a, uh, on a simmer before the potatoes are cooked. And then once cooked, we'll add the asparagus and um, essentially have our soup. Okay, so after about 20 minutes or so, our potatoes will be, uh, will be nice and soft. And you want to get them to the point, if I can show you one. Maybe I can, maybe I can't. Um, you want to get them to the point where they're, uh, you know, they're knife tender. You can stick the knife in, goes in nice and smooth. And once they're there, we're going to add in our asparagus. Now I've got a, um, this is one kind of full bunch that came in the store. There's probably three or four cups, uh, two or three cups of asparagus here that I've just chopped up into like two inch pieces. And I'm going to add all those into my soup and let, and let those um, cook down as well and just get nice and soft, tender. And then um, once they're in there, we're going to come back, add a couple more things, and then uh, we'll blend our soup together. Okay, after our asparagus has cooked down and gotten nice and tender, I'm going to add a final couple ingredients. Here I've got a little bit of tarragon. This is maybe half a, um, half a tablespoon. And I'm just going to drop it in. I'm tearing it up. You don't even really need to because um, we're obviously we're going to blend everything together. The tarragon uh, with the potatoes, I think, th I think it just adds a nice little um, element to the, uh, to the soup, a little bit more complexity of flavor. I haven't really added much salt or pepper to the, um, to the dish so far, so we'll do a pinch of salt, and we'll do some pepper. And then we're gonna blend this I together. I like to keep a little um, extra chicken stock. Um, in case things get a little too thick, I can always just add a little bit more. Let me blend this together, and we'll come right back. Okay, once we have our soup blended, I like to give it a little squeeze of lemon, just to brighten it up a little bit. And some asparagus soups, you know, I'll add a, um, add a little bit of cream. But with the potatoes in this one, I think that usually gives it plenty of body and substance. You don't really need that cream. Let me give it a little taste. I think this one could use a touch more salt and maybe just a touch more of that lemon. But we're essentially good to go. We've got our potato asparagus soup, and I'll see you next time. On no recipe required.